Hello, Assalamu alaikum and peace be with you. A question, how comfortable are you at being uncomfortable? Sometimes we're forced into situations that we may find uncomfortable, but we know in the long run they're actually good for us. It could be public speaking or learning a new language and practicing it on real people or learning new technology. The reality is we often just want to run. When a baby learns to walk, we know they're going to fall many times before they master the skill. The fear of falling doesn't stop them and a mother actively encourages them to keep trying. It's the same when children learn to swim or ride a bike because we know the end result is worth it. So what happens when we get older? I suppose we get comfortable, very comfortable, until every day becomes predictable and indistinguishable from any other. We have the same friends, visit the same places, eat the same food and do more or less the same things. We feel at ease having control over our lives and we like that, even if it gets a little boring. From time to time we tut at the news, moan and grumble about the state of the world and all the terrible things that are happening in society. We make ourselves feel better by expressing our desire for a more peaceful world where people get along. But we do that from our armchair because it's too much of an effort to step outside of our comfort zone. But no one ever achieved anything without stepping out of their comfort zone. Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them, found themselves in one difficult situation after another. But they faced the fear, stood up to the oppressors and delivered their message because they believed in it and cared about the people. But it wasn't easy. In fact, anyone who achieved anything, big or small, had to experience discomfort at some point. Some of the people I admire the most are the ones that are brave when facing new challenges and do it with an open mind. And you can start doing that at any age. Take Janet, for instance. She was almost 80 when she accepted an invitation to break fast with us at the mosque. No one expected her to fast, but she did because she wanted to experience it for herself. And when it came to prayer time, she didn't want to observe. She moved forward to the prayer area and stood in line, hands clasping her walking stick in front of her and head bowed respectfully. I stood next to her, a Muslim to my left and the Reverend Janet to my right. It was her choice to pray in the mosque, but it moved me and I've never forgotten it. I admired Janet's fearless attitude. She'd accustomed herself to facing new challenges and she relished it. Learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable means that we're living, growing and learning, not just existing. And Ramadan's a great time for self-reflection. How uncomfortable are you willing to get to bring about the changes that you want to see?